If you're stuck just below the commercial viability level, that threshold with your podcasting efforts, you might be better served looking inwards than outwards as you seek to push you and your podcast over that brink to bring in a brand new wave of listeners. Hello and welcome to another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. I often see variants of, what are the common mistakes newbies make when getting into podcasting? Question on various forums around the internet. Valid question, don't get me wrong, and get lots of answers for that. But today I want to talk about, what if we shifted the perspective? The common mistakes that people who've been podcasting for a while make. Podcasters who have yet to hit the next level to where they can really make this as a going concern. And that's what I want to talk about with you today. And as I spoiled it in the title, the answer to that question of what is the biggest mistake middling, if you will, not quite commercially viable podcasters are making, it's one of complacency. Now, complacency, by what I mean by that, is not necessarily the nice uh, definition of complacency, which is, you know, being okay with your lot in life, being complacent, but It's more about the smugness that comes off with it. More about the attitude of this is where I'm supposed to be level. That's the thing I think you need to break through. And a lot of that might actually come from not really knowing where you should be. I hear from a lot of podcasters who've been at it for a while who have the same question. I don't know if my podcast is as big as it should be. I don't know if the quality of the content I'm putting out is as good as it should be. Now spend a little bit of time in therapy and you'll know to get rid of that word should. (laughs) But I'm going to have to disagree with your therapist for a moment. Because should in this case isn't a bad word. Should in this case gets you to compare yourself with where you know, you could possibly be, I know, should, could, would, bad terms, but let's embrace them at least for the next few minutes as we, as we talk about this. Because to me, the best way to break complacency, the best way to get out of that thinking is to understand where you could be. What is the actual goal you're trying to hit? What is it? Quite often that's not been written down. That's not been codified in any way for you or your podcast team that you've got assembled. You're not really sure what you're supposed to be doing, so you just keep going about the motions. And that's what complacency really breeds. Complacency breeds familiarity. Familiarity becomes habit, which becomes a rut, and you're just kind of moving on the same thing. You're doing the same thing either day after day or week after week or one day a year, and it's not really moving a needle forward. And that's a big challenge. And you might be getting decent numbers. You might be getting hundreds or sometimes even thousands of people who are listening to your show. But if your goal is commercial viability, and I know that not everybody's goal is commercial viability. So if your goal is just viability, whatever that means to you, you need to figure out where you need to get it. You've got to grow it bigger. Not every podcast deserves to be big. I get that. Not every podcaster wants to have a really big show. I totally get that. Chances are those people probably aren't listening to this program. Oh, and also, this program isn't designed to help you make or tell you the secrets to make a really, really big show. That's, that's not what I'm here for. This is less about how big your show can get and more about how you should be thinking about your show. Are you happy where it is now? Do you need it to be any bigger or better or different? If the answer is no, then you've probably already tuned out of this episode anyhow. But if you're still consuming the things I'm saying, you're seeking something. And you probably, probably don't know what that something is, if I had to hazard a guess. So your first journey to understanding what it, what it is, is a little inward look. What do you need? What are you looking for? What is an attainable goal? I'm not going to walk through smart goals. What is something that you really need? And are you more importantly, or maybe as importantly as this, are you willing to do it? Look, if podcasting is that one leftover thing that you do where you just don't have enough time to invest in it right now, you're not going to get over the complacency hump. 
Because I've got news for you. Once you figure out what it is you want to do differently, you're going to have to work harder. You have to dig in deeper, roll up your sleeves, spend more time making your content. Can you do that? Can you afford that? Is it what you want? I mean, if so, great. I mean, if you're at the mid-level right now and you think that success is just around the corner, then yeah, you're going to have to go for it. But with that mindset of, okay, I'm willing to invest extra money, time, energy, effort, all that, before you do that, inwardly look. What do you want to do? What does the goal look like for you? You have to be ready for that. That thing might be a complete overhaul of your show. Are you willing to go that far? Or do you overhaul your show completely? Are you willing to look at your numbers in Apple Podcasts and in Spotify that show you the consumption, how people are consuming your content? Are you willing to bravely look that in the face and go, wow, what I'm doing is or is not resonating with my audience because I can see that change? Are you willing to do that? It's an inward look. I know it's a heavy thing to dump on you on a Monday morning podcaster, but I'm going to dump it on your shoulders. Are you ready to have that honest conversation with yourself so that you can break yourself out of this complacency? Maybe you just move from complacency to contentment, and that's fine. But that's the biggest mistake I think that mid-level podcasters are making is we stay complicit. No, not complicit. <laughs> we stay complacent. We're, yeah, that's it. Complacency. That's it. So, I need you to start thinking about that. I need you to do one more thing for me as well. Because probably you're not the only podcaster that you interact with. Most podcasters I know, well, many of the podcasters I know, well, most that I know, are friends with other podcasters. They share, they commiserate, they tell ideas. Raise this question with them. Raise this question of, are you complacent in where your show is? Do you, are you happy with where it is? What do you want to do differently? Have this conversation with other podcasters. That will help you get over the hump. Also, while you're talking with them, tell them what sparked the idea. Maybe they're not yet listening to podcast pontifications. Maybe there's a whole chatter that should go back and forth after one of these episodes where it sparks one of your brains to go, holy cow, and you shoot the other one a note and you go back and forth. Tell them about podcast pontifications. It helps me grow the show. I don't sell ads. I'm not asking anybody for anything, but please tell a friend about podcastpontifications.com. Yeah. And if you want to send me an email, great. Evo at podcastlaunch.pro reaches me. Happy to answer any questions that you would like to have. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you back or listening. I'll see you back tomorrow for yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers. <laughs>